Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to solve problem 3.25 from Sadiku book. So the question was find the node voltage at V1, V2, V3 and V4 using nodal analysis and let's do that. So what do we do first? We do KCL at these four nodes and the first one is this one. So I'm assuming that this current will going up obviously because this was a current source and every resistor that uh, have horizontal position have current to the right and every vertical resistor have current to the bottom so this is my assumptions you can assume any directions but this is our assumptions so let's do KCL at node number one KCL at V1 Okay. Now KCL said that the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out. The current that goes in is only this one. The other one is going out. So it's 4 ampere for the current that goes in. But the current that goes out is this current plus this current. So I will start with this current. So it is V1 minus V2 divided by 1 plus this one v1 minus v4 divided by 20 so i multiply both sides by 20 i will get 80 is equal to 80 v1 minus 80 v2 now i multiply it by 20 it's not 80 so this one will be 20 V1 minus 20 V2 and this one will be V1 minus V4 so for this one I will get 80 is equal to 21 V1 minus 20 V2 minus V4 and let's save this equation as equation number 1 and this node is done so we will do this nodes again the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out this is the only one that goes in so we do KCL at V2 so the current that goes in is only this one so we will have V1 minus V2 divided by 1 is equal to V2 divided by 8 plus V2 minus V3 divided by 10 and we can multiply both sides by 40 I think we can multiply both sides by 40 so I will have 40 V1 minus 40 V2 is equal to 5 V2 plus 4 V2 minus 4 V3 let's save this That's, no, it's not equal we can we still need to do some math here so what can we do here I can still do 40 V1 minus 40 V2 is equal to this one is 9 9 V2 minus 4 V3 we can move this one to the left hand side I will have 40 V1 minus 49 V2 plus 4 V3 and that will equal to 0 and let's save this as equation number 2 now we still do we still need to do two more nodes so i will have kcl at v3 the current that goes in there is two current that goes in this one and this one so i will have v2 minus v3 divided by 10 plus not equal plus v4 minus v3 divided by 10 
is equal to V3 divided by 20. And I can multiply both sides by 20. I will have 2V2 minus 2V3 plus 2V4 minus 2V3 is equal to V3 and I will have 2V2 is V3, V3 so I will have minus 4, minus 4, minus 1 is minus 5 minus 5V3 five plus 2V4 is equal to 0 and this one is equation number 3 we save it and we can do one more notes here in V4 so this is our last notes KCL at V4 what do we have here the current that goes in is only this one so we will have V1 minus V4 divided by 20 is equal to this current V4 minus V3 divided by 10 plus V3 divided by it's not V3 it's V4 V4 divided by 30 so I can multiply both sets by 60 so I will have 3 V1 minus 3 V4 3 V1 minus 3 V4 is equal to 6 V4 minus 6 V3 and this one is plus 2 V4 and we can do a little algebra here so we can move this V3 to the left hand sides and this one and we will have I will write it here hopefully there is enough space so I will have 3 V1 so the V3 is here plus 6 V3 minus 11 V4 is equal to 0 and let's save this equation as equation number 4 so now we will have four equations one two three four with four variables v1 v2 v3 and v4 and let me erase the derivations and just write the equations that we need so this is our equations that we need to solve there is four equations with four variables so one two three four with v1 v2 v3 and v4 to solve and I will write this equation in the matrix form so I will have this matrix here and this one is what variables that we need to solve v1, v2, v3 and v4 and for the right hand side it's the result 80, 0, 0, 0 and then for the first row we need to put this coefficients of equations 1 into the first row so for v1 the coefficient is 21 for v2 it's minus 20 and v3 does not have coefficient here so it's 0 and v4 have minus 1 so we can do exact same steps for rows number 2 40 minus 49 and then for v3 it's 4 and this one is 0 for v4 and for rows number 3 the first row for v1 is 0 we don't have it here so and for v2 it's 2 and for v3 it's minus 5 for v4 it's 2 and for the last row we have this coefficients it is 3 6 uh, for v2 it's not 6 it's 0 there is no v2 here and 
roughly three and six and then we do it for v4 it's minus 11 okay so the six is not clear it's six here it's minus 11 here so we will have this matrix times this matrix is equal to this matrix what can we do is we take the inverse of this matrix and multiply it by this matrix so we will have v1 v2 v3 and v4 okay let's name the this matrix is this one is matrix a this one is let's say it matrix p so this one will be the inverse of a the inverse of a times the b so we need to do this and i will do it by using matlab so we can we can still do hand calculation but it will take a long time i will just plug this into matlab and we will cut the result so here is our matlab and i don't have screen capture software so i just capture my monitor using my phone and i will insert matrix a matrix a is the value 21 minus 20 0 and minus 1 and the second row will be 40 minus 49 and then 4 and 0 and third row we will have 0, 2, minus 5, 2, and the last row we will have 3, 0, 6, and minus 11. So this is our matrix A, and that is our matrix, and matrix B is 80, and all the others are zeros. And we can do inverse A, inverse A times P, and we get the result there. Let me put it into whiteboard. So from MATLAB we will have the V1 will be 25.52 and then V2 is 22.05 and then V3 is 14.84 And then V4 is 15.06. And so this is our final answer. So V1 is 25.52 volt. V2 is 22.05 volt. V3 is 14.84 volt. And then V4 is 15.06 volt and let me know if you find any mistakes in our calculations thanks for watching